Hello, gorgeous. I was worried when Mrs. Eat More Vegans told me she brought me a new smoker for Christmas. I mean, would you trust your partner with picking out your next cooker? Yeah, me either. But this, this might be the best present she's ever bought me. I mean, look at this thing, right? It's a model smoker, but it's actually working smoker. This is made out of really high quality metal and uh, it's got a firebox. It's got the cold smoking chamber. It's basically a scale model of Boba with a round firebox. It's even got a sear grate here. And then like, let's look inside. Oh, look at this. It's even got grates I can pull out. That'll make it a lot easier come cleaning time. Firebox has vents that open and close so I can control airflow. It's even got a little control here on the stack where I can control the air out and the air in. This thing can cook. What should I cook on it first? I know, lamb. You guys love lamb. Most popular videos on the channel. I got a rack of lamb in the refrigerator. I'll go get it. So we got a problem. So this is the smallest piece of lamb I have and uh, we're not gonna make rack of lamb, but we can make a lamb chop. I got the Doll Strong Punisher Tomahawk Cleaver right here. This should do it. Isn't that a little bit of an overkill? Overkill? No, I think this is appropriate. So if a tree falls in the forest and no one's there to hear it, does it still make a sound? Speaking of which, if a man speaks in the forest and there's no woman there to hear him, is he still wrong? All right, this is still a little thick, but I was pretty impressed with doing it on one shot. So let's cut this down to a double chop that will fit in the smoker. All right, now we got our meat and then we've got this big fat piece here and a bunch of silver skin that we're not gonna use. So let's go ahead and uh, take this fat off. I'll go ahead and French it all the way down. All right, so we got a nicely trimmed, double cut uh, lamb chop. I think that'll fit just fine in there. At least I hope so, we'll see. So let's go ahead and get it seasoned up. So I'm gonna use avocado oil as a binder and then we're gonna do pretty simple seasoning here. I'm gonna use salt, I'm gonna use pepper, and I've also got harissa seasoning. Uh, so this is a Middle Eastern spice blend. It's got a little bit of spice to it. I'm gonna use a little bit of that. Notice I dropped some on the board. That's so I can get the other side and the back here and just pick up any of our spare. Mop this all up. All right, I'm gonna go throw this in the refrigerator and we'll figure out how to get this smoker fired up. All right, that's not gonna work, but all I have is this Jealous Devil K Bracho Chunks XL Charcoal, and that's not gonna fit. How am I gonna break this down? Using a log splitter? Don't you think that's a bit of an overkill? Overkill? No, I think we're all right. See, Pat, it worked. Look at that. Itty bitty charcoal for an itty bitty smoker. All right. Let's get this lit. Say hello to my little friend. Really, Al, you're gonna use the grill gun? Isn't that a bit of an overkill? Overkill, really? All right, so where there would normally be temperature gauges here, they just have rivets because it's, uh, you know, tiny and they don't really make temperature gauges this small, but I need to know what temperature I'm smoking at. So I'm gonna use a temperature gauge together with my Thermoworks Signals barbecue thermometer so that I can monitor it if I can figure out how to get that in here. So I think we're gonna have to go in through the vertical and these, these are gonna have to come out of the way. All right, I can lay this right here and that should give me a good, great temperature. It's working, it's heating up. Holy cow, this thing got to 225, it's actually a smoker. All right, so we got charcoal on, we need some smoking wood. 
So luckily I've got some uh, applewood chips here that I didn't think I was ever gonna use. So uh, we'll use those for this. I'm just gonna throw a couple of chunks of applewood in here so that we got some flavor. There we go, cooking with applewood. Okay, let's get our lamb chop on the smoker. Let's glove up. Sorry guys, I know you hate that sound. Let's see if we can make this fit. Ha! It fits. I'm gonna let that cook for probably 40, 45 minutes to get enough smoke on it before it's time to sear. At least it'll be 45 minutes for me. For you, it'll be like that. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. I can't wait to see this. You know, looking's not cooking, so I haven't peeked. You guys wanna see with me what this looks like? All right, let's check it out. Oh boy, look at this. This has got a lot of smoke on it. Look at the color on this thing. I mean, this has got the kind of color, this looks like it would have come off of one of my regular size smokers. I'm excited. All right, let's set this grill up for searing. Okay, the smallest sear I've ever done. You know, the biggest barbecue I ever made was four briskets and eight pork butts, and I can safely say that this, this is the smallest barbecue I've ever done. But it's time to taste, so I gotta cut it up. I need a knife. Pat, I do not wanna hear about overkill. This is the perfect knife for this. So let's take the bones off, and let's see what it looks like. Oh, that is a perfect medium rare lamb chop. I would say, this little smoker did its job. All right, let's get some slices. There's one for me. There's one for you. Pat, you gonna taste? Yep. All right, here's one for Pat. All right. Here, you guys grab this one. I'll put it right here for you. All right, here you go, Pat. This one's for you. Thank you. All right, for me, ready? Cheers. And cheers to you. Mm. This thing makes actually cook like a smoker. Well, this is a model of Boba Fett, so I think he deserves a name. I think his name should be Baby Boba. What do you think? Hey, tell me in the comments what you think I should cook next. I wanna cook what you wanna see on the tiny cooker. Baby Boba can cook anything that we can fit into here. Hey, check out this video next. I think you're really gonna like it. I'll see you next time on Eat More Vegans.